In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google to create a survey or feedback form. First, you need to log into Google, and then under More, select Drive, or in some cases, it might say Docs or Documents. And then I want to come over here on the left hand side and click create and I want to create a form. This will allow me, this will give me an opportunity to create a form that we're going to use. So this is my basic feedback form. So I give it a title and then under here I can include any additional text or instructions I want to give the person filling it out. Please fill this out at the conclusion of today's event. Once I've entered that, then I need to start adding questions to my form. So first question might be, did you like the location? If I can add some additional information if necessary. And then I have to tell what type of question it is or what kind of data do I want to collect. In this thing, I basically want a yes or a no. So I'm going to go with a choose from a list. First option, yes. Click this. Second option, no. I can decide if this is going to be a required question or one that's optional. I'm going to go ahead and make it required. And then when I'm all done, I hit done. Did you like the clarification? Yes or no. If I want to go back and edit this event, I just click this little pencil icon to edit it, make whatever changes I want, click done. If I want to delete the event, I hit the little trash can. Or if I want to duplicate this question, then I can hit the duplicate button. This would be good if you are doing a number of questions um, that are, please rate the following one through five. You can create one, create one through five as responses, um, and then just duplicate the question over and over again, and then edit each individual one, only having to change the title or the name of the question. And then I have my sample question two. Go ahead and fill that out. What did you have for lunch? In this case, I want them to be able to reply in text, but perhaps I want a lot of text. I want a good description of their lunch. So I can request paragraph text for a longer answer. I think I will again make this one required and then hit done. Now if I want to add more questions, all I have to do is come up here to this green plus and hit add item. And then I can tell it what kind of question it is that I want to ask. Or if I want to add a new section header or a page break. It might seem a little daunting if you just give the user a thousand questions in a row. So you might want to organize them into sections um, or break them up across multiple pages. You can do that. And all you got to do is just add um, items from this little menu however many times you want to do that. All right, so once I'm all done and I've got what I want, um, I go ahead and hit save just to make sure everything saves correctly. We're going to give it a minute. Uh-oh, there was an error saving my page. Well, hit OK. Still says it was saved, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> a couple of things to notice. Um, there's some optional checkboxes up to the top. Um, you can allow users to change their answers after they have submitted it. Uh, most of the time you probably don't want to do this, you just want them to do it once. Uh, 
if you are using a Yellowstone Conference account, um, it's going to default to only allowing other Yellowstone Conference people to fill out the form. Most of the time, you're going to want your forms to be public so that anybody who attended the event or um, anybody basically can then fill out a reform and give you a response. Um, so we'll uncheck that box. It's going to give me a warning. This will make it accessible outside. Are you sure you want to proceed? I said yes. I want to proceed. All right. The other thing that I can do is I can apply a theme to um, my form. You can give it the basic theme, or I can make it look fancy, or um, make it look any sort of ways. Um, I'm going to choose the spices theme. So I'm going to select my theme and come up here, and I'm going to hit apply. All right, and then down here in the bottom, it gives me a link that allows me to view my published form. And that's going to come up in a new tab. And so we can see basic feedback form. Please fill out at the conclusion of today's event. That's the information I put in. It does let you know that certain things are required. So did you like the location? Yes, I did. And what did you have for lunch? A very fine sandwich. And then when I'm all done, I can hit submit. And it's going to say, thank you, and it's been reported. And if I go back to my basic feedback form, I'll go back to my form here, um, or if I go back, to, I'm sorry, to Google Drive here, I see my basic feedback form that I've created. I can select that. And it was going to give me my uh, all of those things that I have received, uh, all the feedback I have received in uh, a Google um, Excel-like file. Um, now, if I want to edit the form that I have created, I come up here to form and I can hit edit form. I can also send the form if I want to email it to somebody. Um, I can embed the form um, in, in my web page if I want to, um, or any number of other things. What I'm going to want to do at some point is to post this link um, either on my website of the event that I'm talking about that I want to collect feedback on, or I'm going to want to uh, copy and paste that link into an email that I'm going to send out so that people can come and find the form and fill it out. Now, optionally, what I can find, what I can do uh, with all of this is once I've gotten all my data collected that I think I want to get, if I come to File, Download As, I can download it as an Excel file that I can then open up on Excel on my personal computer and do any sort of tabulating or calculating that I want to do. But making a form in Google Docs is actually very easy and uh, very helpful and gives you a very powerful tool to getting that done.